Shalom guys. Um, I've been asked a couple of times um, how I change the yarn on my shawls and get the different colors and the colors to fade in how they're supposed to. Um, so I wanted to attempt to try and show you guys that. I'm doing the yod hey vav hey um, panel that I do. Um, and I'm getting ready to switch colors so let me see if I can show you how I do that. I just take my yarn, right now I'm using a royal blue, I'm getting ready to switch from the blue to the silver, I don't know if anybody can see that, um, and all I do is take my silver and I wrap it around the blue, then I kind of put like a slip knot in it where it's tight against the needle. I use about a G needle normally, um, but you want to make sure that's tight. And then what I do is I tie the two together again and pull it really tight like that. And then bring them up and then just take your scissors and kind of get them even, get the two yarn strings even, and then snip them. And then once you do that, you pull the color in which you're not using, in this case it's our blue, pull it back, and then take your silver on top of the silver stitches, and then continue with the stitch in which you're doing. Right now I'm doing a double crochet, and I'm going to do six. Now I need to switch back to a blue, so you just do the same thing, take your blue thread, I don't know if I can maybe, see if I can bring this down to where you can see. Okay, let's see if I can, just take that yarn. Wrap it around the blue, your other string, flip it in, do a slip knot, pull that tight up against your needle, and then take your two and just do a regular knot through and then pull it really tight and that's going to keep your stitch nice and tight so it don't come out and then snip it close to even, it doesn't have to be quite even because you're going to have all these little straggler ends that you're going to have to go back through and weave in and pull that, make sure you got the blue and the silver make sure you take your silver and you pull it back by that silver and then you're going to lay that blue right on top of those stitches and then continue with your double crochet or your single stitch or your half double crochet stitches um, just as you would. And I'm going to continue that across the top. But when you're done, you have all these little ends that are kind of there. And you can simply use, I'm using a G-hook. I don't know if you can see it. Um, you can use a smaller hook. don't have to be a lot smaller. but something just a little bit smaller than what you normally use. This is an F hook. Um, and then all your little ends here, you just um, use that hook and go through see if I can, the bottom of your stitch like that and grab a hold of the end and which is not weaved in and just pull that through uh, 
And then when you get done weaving your ends in, you're just going to take your scissors and snip those ends off. And then because your yarn will stretch, and this will go in, you don't want to cut it too small or your ends will come out. But the end we just did, there's no more ends there. Then you end up with a really nice, flush, pretty design in your work. So I hope that helps, and I hope that if you have any questions, please just let me know. Shalom to you guys.